High up in the Austrian Alps, on the Großglockner mountain, it's not only an ideal place to spend a relaxed vacation, but also to test car brakes. On the steep downhill gradients of these notorious alpine roads, our auto motor and sport team tested several different car braking systems. We start at the highest point of the Großglockner Alpine Road, he says, and do everything wrong that you can imagine. We shift into the highest gear, brake only with the foot pedal, don't use the stopping power of the engine, which would naturally spare the foot brake. Participating in this challenge, eight new cars. The Mini Cooper S, the Ford Fiesta 1.6, the VW Polo 1.416V, the Toyota Corolla 1.6, the Opel Vectra 2.2 DTA, the Mercedes E220 CDI, the BMW 745i and the Range Rover 4.4. Before the test, all the brake discs and calipers were renewed and broken in to ensure equal conditions. After that, the test cars were wired with complex electronic equipment to help compile all the necessary data needed for final evaluation. A good brake is one, he tells us, that when you're driving at high speed and you suddenly have to slam on the brakes, stops very well. That tells us something about the safety potential of the brake. In addition, we also talk about a brake's efficiency, something comparable to the stamina of a long-distance runner. Time now for the cars to head to the top of the Alpine Pass. Plenty of curves, up to 12% gradient. The burden on the brakes is enormous during the ensuing drive downhill. The result among the compacts is fair. The Toyota Corolla does well, coming to a final halt from a speed of 100 after 45.4 meters. The temperature of the front brake discs measures 568 degrees Celsius. Hardly any weaker, the Mini, in a fully laden state. Its skid path is only 50 centimeters longer. In third place, the Fiesta. It stops after travelling 48.8 metres. Bringing up the rear in this group of compacts, the Polo with 50.1 metres. With the three sedans in our test, much more weight is sent rolling down the mountain. That makes no difference whatsoever for the BMW 745i, it seems. It achieves 100 to stand still after 42.9 metres, the best of all of today's cars. 562 degrees for the front brake discs is naturally high. When other tests and a testing site are included, only the Mercedes turns out to be better. Beaten by the others, the Opel. Driving down the pass, the Vectra takes 50.8 metres to come to a complete halt. One of the most difficult classes was always the weighty SUVs. The Range Rover stops after 39.5 metres. At least this three-ton vehicle maintains its average level throughout all the test series. What we discovered during our tests is that faulty brakes on a new car are a thing of the past. The first two places today go, as expected, to the E-Class and the BMW 7 Series. As a surprise, in third place, the Toyota Corolla. Way at the back of the pack, the Polo. Not posing any safety risk under normal circumstances. Under heavy load, you have to use a lot of power to get them to stop well. 